Hey, yo, what's poppin' man's on mains? Listen, we're back in Diamond Elo. Diamond 2-ish. Um, listen, there's been... Let me just close this. I think it's pretty funny. Some people comment like, Yo, this this is not Diamond Elo. This guy is, is faking it. Like, guys, what? I have literally shown my Elo multiple times. I've showed you guys when I ranked up to Masters. I showed the border, or not the border, but like the, you know, the the upgrade on the, the thingy as well. Like... What? What do you mean? I'm faking it. Like, <laughs> if I was faking it, I would probably steal like Balajan's account and be like, "Yo, this is me, man. Uh, I'm challenger. I'm a main account or some shit." Nah, but listen, me. I usually before the games, I usually tell you guys which elo this is. Um, unless you close that, we don't wanna, we don't wanna get tilted on that shit. Okay. Um. I usually tell you guys which elo it is. I, I am not someone who says, like, this is a uh, challenger when it's, like, you know, silver or whatever. And if it's gold, I tell you guys, this is a gold elo game. Um, you know, trying to demonstrate that it's climbable, whatever, if you play semi-decent and stuff. Like, I don't know. Uh, but anyways, we're facing a Viego. Viego is kind of similar to the, the Jasso lane. Except this guy is... I think he's nerfed. Or is it next patch? It's gonna be great for next patch because he's not gonna get as much min uh, HP from minions. I mean, as you can see, this guy is now losing HP. Two E's, two Arcane procs. He's still full HP, kind of ish. Um, the range is kind of insane as well. This champion is definitely, you know, balanced cap. But yeah, I mean, hey, I feel like Mazar nerf was uh, needed. He was definitely too strong. Chapa Pride. Can't really help that. Fuck. No way that doesn't hit. Oh my god. He has a perfect CS. I missed 5 already. Insane. Like that thing as well, when he uh, puts his uh, shadow cloak down or whatever, like it it gives us gives so much pressure because you don't know if he's still near or if he has dashed away or whatever. So you have to kind of like respect it. Um, and you just kind of back away, but when you back away, like you miss CS, so it's just rough. Ah, I'm not gonna get that. Wow. I'm gonna get that as well. I mean, this guy doesn't lose mana because, again, he has an AD champion, so he could use perma claim my void links like this. We have missed a couple of CSs, but it's not the worst. I mean, it sucks, but what can we do, man? You know? This is good. I mean, okay, thank you. Yeah, thanks. I don't have to reset just yet. It's okay. I have a little bit more for my last chapter, so I'm just gonna stay here. I'll just try to see us up. Bruh, minions, come on, dude. Why why is it chasing me? Come on. He's gonna take this bounce. No way, dude. Yeah, I'm missing hell of a lot of CS here. Oh my Shiba. I am down a lot of CS already. It's insane. If it doesn't contest this, it's great news for me, because I can get a full reset. Nice. Or not a free reset, but I can get a reset without having to use TP and just pushing this in. So at least now it's gonna balance a little bit in the CS department. Get this, get that. Now we kinda good uh good and back in action. We missed like almost 10 CS. We're 10 CS behind him. Um overall, I have missed a lot of CS. He has missed a couple, but he's closer to you know perfect CS than I am. Way, way behind now. Um I mean, that's that's one of the rough things with AD champions. You have to see us way better than you usually do because, again, um, they have a lot more, like, they don't have to waste mana on pushing. 
Uh, so they can use perma push you in, and you have to be able to CS well enough on the turret, if that makes sense. Like, you can't keep missing a lot of CS like we have. But these random rooms are actually pretty good. I mean, that was bad for Viego, in my opinion. Like, there was a uh, pretty uh, bad roam from him. Um, you should just keep pressuring mid, in my opinion. Like, Malzar against Viego, just keep def uh, pushing and just keep uh, making me w uh, lose a lot of uh, minions and just scale. So he will roamed. We kind of won the fight. Um, I e the, uh, e queued the, the Viego. Maybe I shouldn't have. So I could probably kill Seraphine. Uh, if I just EW'd um, an Ard Seraphine, but I kind of want an assist on this guy, and yeah, so I kind of took, you know, my other spells on him. Um, he has Vampire Skeptor, so again, we can't really poke him down. Um, this is just, you know, Malzar, guys, can't really do anything about it. Sucks that, uh, it sucks like healing is so strong. And AP champs are so weak. Uh, like, what can, I, what can I say? It's just the way it is. Get some mana back from that. Um. I can't really do anything about that, my friends. Like, he doesn't lose HP. He gets HP. <laughs> it is insane, man. I, I swear to God, I feel like it's such a hoax. League of Legends is such a scam, dude. <laughs> I mean, that works out, bro. Skarner, Balzar. <laughs> Jesus, that's nasty. Yeah, nice. Well, we got two kills for that. Uh, I mean, one kill, one assist. Um, again, he loses. Look at the CS now. It's kind of even. Why? Because he has had a couple of bad deaths. Um... I'm just gonna buy that as well, because I'm gonna get Oblivion Orb. Maybe I shouldn't have. Um, yeah. This is my... I mean, hopefully we can have a duo partnership. But if I do with this guy, I'm telling you, I'll be masters in no time. Like, duoing with a jungler, guys, is so free when you play Malz. This guy was like, oh, listen, we can play, I can play Skarner, I can play Hecarim, whatever. I'm like, yo, listen, as long as you just play jungle and you main jungle role, I'm happy. You know, I don't really care what champion you play. I'm just done with having supports in the jungle role or like 80 carries in the jungle role, you know? That's all I want. I don't, I don't care about champion pool or anything. You just play the damn role. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully we can have a good partnership, you know. The only issue I have with this guy, he doesn't play a lot. Like he has, a, he go, goes on breaks like every five minutes. Gets me, you know. I'm here grinding. <laughs> I will get LP, then I lose it. <laughs> play solo queue, and then I come back, we win, and then I go, I go to sleep. He loses his LP, and then we're like we keep on bouncing around in like Diamond Two ish. Now it's just. It's much, much easier to like perma clear the waves and just go off vision, put in pressure. How does that land, man? How does that even land? I don't understand the Q range on that, man. My bad. A little bit too deep and we pay for it. I don't have flash. I'm just gonna wait for my shield because uh, Viego can always R, CC. And, you know, be obnoxious, I guess. She might be ganking mid, so I'm just gonna uh, hug bot side here. 
shot me off vision. Yeah, I should click on both my wards. Unlock. Reset that. Wow, big chunk of damage. Nice bounce. I'm good here. I don't really have vision, so I don't want to risk it by like walking forward and dying. Seraphine is moving, but I'm not sure where Diana is. Nice hit. Reset, get this. We're shoving in. It's a cannon wave. He can't like hard shove this, I think. I mean, he could have. But then again, Drake is about to spawn. We reset, get Leandris, and now we have the more. We are faster to the Drake. We have more power because again, Leandris is a very strong item, and we have TP up soon, and he still stays. So it's kind of a free Drake. But you never know. This could be a very bad, bad, bad situation. Yeah, that was uh, unlucky. I mean, it was it was gonna be good, but okay. Happens. I mean, look at top though. Look at what happens top. It's, it's fine. Maybe we couldn't get Drake, but I feel like uh, a bad situation kind of turned out okay. Botan already lost that fight. Uh, he kind of got two kills out of nowhere. My Scar the Scarner. Uh, but they got the Drake, but it's all good. I mean, we can have a top though. My TP might have, like, if I TP it earlier, I'm not sure. I feel like if I TP it earlier, it will still be the same uh, same situation, but... Oh, my. He's st still here? Nah, that won't kill him. I tried to reset my E with that, but it won't help. Why is she still bot side? They just kind of kill him. Again, vision is key. If you don't have vision, this will just keep on happening. You have to get vision down. Um, yeah, damn. I used my blue trinket here. I should have maybe... Uh, probably would have cleared, been cleared anyways. I'm just going to buy pink. When did I use my pink? Is this mine? No, I don't think this is mine. I think mine is cleared. Yeah, I put my in the brush. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's my bad. Uh, out of, when you don't see people... And you don't have flashes, you know, it's kind of hard. You can't you can't really go full ham or full aggro. I don't have TP as well. I mean, I guess we could pressure mid as two, but like... Uh, I'm just going to put my pick here. Diane is also one of the, the harder champions to uh, play against when you play uh, Mouse because she can always Q E R, And like, you have to wait for the R to blow until you can like... Or her, if that makes sense. And then by then you're already probably dead or 50% HP. Again, so many champions that counters Mal's, but again, Mal's gets nerfed. It's just kind of cringy. I can't top that. Whoa, they lost towards one, but wow. I'm probably gonna build Oblivion Orb. Um into something like uh probably Riley's again. <clears throat> yeah, I mean tragedies is happening around the map right now. Diana is very fed. But again, one pull with Skarner and IR, and she's probably dead. Nice. Uh, 
let's get this, let's get that, let's get another of those, because you never know, it could be cleared. Perfect. Okay, we should really try to kill that. Wait, how does she not have a shutdown gold? She's 5-1. She's well CS'd. No shutdown. Huh, interesting. Does not flash. Not sure what Ash is picking, but A rough one with Diana getting fed though, but like it's not the worst. Again, we have a lot of CC for her, but like we have to kind of we kind of have to CC her first before she even jumps. Yeah, that's good. Great. Nice. Let see. I mean, everything everything works out some somehow. Let's push mid turrets. Um, I could always reset, go top. Let this guy soak this up. Push this in. Now I'll defend top. I don't want to give out the free turrets. Um, like that's that's one thing I don't like. If you have somewhat a little bit of a lead, like we have, you don't want to you don't want to want them to get a free turret if that makes sense. Like you want to contest that. But this guy is moving top now, so I'll just go mid, I guess. Um, again, if you guys saw my review on the silver guy, um, you guys have noticed like I'm trying to hover between like top and bot and mid like i'm trying to soak up the xp that is uncontested like if my mid laner is not a uh, ad carry is not moving i move right like now um again we are rotating mids trying to push it and when people defend you go back bot and then you come back mid when someone uh, pulls like so when someone comes bot you want to go mid again like you want to juggle around you know what is this though like why is diana hugging diego's Nuts. I guess I'll give this. Give this. <sighs> He's gonna type Diana bot. Uh, we're getting Herald for this though, so it's not the worst. But like, why is Diana always on Diego? Maybe do a Q in. Um, not sure if I approve of that call though. Like, I don't feel like she should be here. And she's still like hovering. Bot side. Like, she should be trying to hovering AD carry and support because they are pretty much the, the win con, in my opinion, right now. Instead, she hovers the 0 4 Viego, trying to get a pick on the mouse. I mean, I have shutdown gold, I guess. But, like. This could be the bad or very good. I am not sure about these pings. And it's kind of frustrating me a little bit, not gonna lie. Ash is random pinging, she has been doing that for quite some time now. Careful from Gwen, she can always one shot. Again, look, we are soaking up the XP, guys. 
always try to look for the, the minions that is uncontested and just being, you know. Diana is bot though. So this could be good. Yeah, this should be ours. Nice. Good call, good call. I'm just gonna take this wave. That should be enough. Bounce. There is no way that on a bounce. Anyways, I don't want to get full Morello just yet. I'm just going to build my Leandris and then into Morello. Uh, we should not fight this. Ah. Uh. What is happening here? I can't defend this. I mean, ah, uh, yeah. Again, very bad call. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure. I don't feel like we should have fought that mid. So we should have just defended. Um, we had Nash. We could have just reset it, come back, you know, but... Yeah, I guess we kind of entered it. Ah. Uh, okay, that's fine. It's gonna be slow for the the Drake at least. Why is that running away now? Can I like one of those? Like, no, maybe not. I guess they bought, but like, I'm not sure if that's a good call. Because I'm kind of strong, but I can't really defend against Diego Diana. And I don't have TP. Uh, I'm trying to rotate. This is not good. That's a great champ. They are not dying. Oh! Hmm. What do I need? Anti heal. Like, I do have it, but. Uh, I just full upgraded it, I guess. Yeah, we're taking very bad fights. Like, we're taking a lot of random fights here, which we shouldn't. I had bot pushed in. We should have just rotated bot, in my opinion. Uh, but we kind of took a fight mid. A lot of sloppy macro mistakes. And somehow Viego can, like, almost one shot me. It's interesting. Uh, but we're getting a lot of free farm bots because of the inhib being down, so I don't really complain about it. I mean, in my opinion, taking an inhib, inhib when you don't lead in the game is not good for the, the team that literally loses it. I mean, takes it because, again, now we just get free farm and they're never going to get the bot waves because of the super minion pushing bot perma. I don't mind that. I'm going to go void probably. I am not there. We should relax. Ah. Nice. 
That is here. That is here, guys. I'll defend this. A lot of gold for me there. I mean, probably, you know, I'll get this minions. I'm not sure how much money I will get, but I would be close to my boy. Jesus Christ. Two big ones. Nice. Nine gold. What? Ah! 771. I'm going to catch a couple of waves here as well. I am Morello. Um, I'm gonna water here for the split. Okay. Ash is not there, guys. Please care. We should take two inibs. I don't think we can end, but like. Ah! Ash is not on the call. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. Drake could work too, but I feel like we could have taken two inibs. No, no. It's fine, it's fine. Maybe my flash was not needed there then. I thought, like, oh, this is. <laughs> okay, he's fine. We didn't get that much as I wanted to. I thought it was gonna be like two hips, Nash. Uh, but we didn't get a single one of those. I'm just gonna take this and shove it in because, again, it's a weird spot for the minions. It's gonna slow push. I rather want it to, like, crash into the turret as fast as possible. I avoid now. Um, I'm not really sure what I, what I wanna go as last item here. Um, okay, let's see. I mean, I could go Zonias to be 100% sure I don't get like one shotted, but uh, at the same time, I am pretty strong. I do have a lot of HP. Maybe I used, you know. No one has Zonias. I mean, uh, QSS. I feel disrespected, man. What do you mean? I am this strong too, and I don't get, uh, they don't get Zonias. Four to five seconds on my R, maybe that wasn't needed. But I feel like without Gwen, they can't really fight anyways, no? Oh, if I land that. And I have pretty short cooldowns on my R. Wow. Guys, fight near the wall. <laughs> Chaser. Okay, well, that's a uh, GG. I mean, it was kind of. Look, I'm not even kidding. It looked very rough for, uh, for a second there. Um, we had a couple of sloppy fights, but I feel like um, the TP play to get us Nash was uh, pretty good. And the fight before, of course. Uh, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully, this was enjoyable. And yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.